again here with Marty Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well. These are so hard to shuffle, but I'm going to do it. Um, today, we're going to do three more puzzle pieces. And I do have a prior engagement. So while I'm doing those, um, I am going to be doing my prior engagement my prior engagement as well. So I just wanted to go ahead and let's pick our 15 cards that we're going to be doing. And let's see what we've got. So let's do... One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. And let's do one, two, three, four, and five. So let's see what we've got now. Let me move these out of the way. Hopefully we have some different prompts. Let's see. Black or gray gesso. I don't have any gray, so I'm going to have to use my black. Well, I could use black or white gesso. Okay. Hmm. Curved lines or dotted lines. Archival ink, distress ink, circles or stars. So that's pretty straightforward. I get to use two different kinds of gessos anyways. Um, let's see what we have on this one. Masking or washi. Metallic or matte paint. Scratch with a paint pen or mark making tools. Use the last two prompts again or draw two new prompts. I can tell you right now I'm going to draw two new prompts. Um, use scraps to make a full point or fabric. So let's go ahead and draw the two. Here's two. So we're going to set this one aside. And here's my two new. So Stabilo pencil or water soluble medium, paint pen or glitter pen. So I got to keep these two that are my two prompts. All right. So there's that one. And then we have this one. We've got outline something with dots or lines. Doodle at the top or the bottom of the page. Use rectangles or triangles. Use embossing powder or modeling paste. And use buttons or bling. That one's going to be interesting too. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and fast forward through this process. We're just going to, I'm going to sit here, play with these, see how we do, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, see you in a bit.
right guys so here we are we are done with this session of videos um, let's go ahead we'll start out with this one uh, this one was actually rather simple it said to use black gesso or white gesso and then black gesso or gray gesso so I basically used white and black gesso and then just kind of smudged it here in the middle so maybe some gray um, use curved lines or dotted lines I use my dotted lines uh, archival or distress ink I use this with archival ink and circles or stars and again there's my stars so this one was very simple um, I actually really like it that way here's another one this one let's see what order did I do them in um, let's see I had to use masking tape or washi tape and I used the masking tape uh, metallic or matte I used matte scratch with a pen or scratch with mark making tools I did do a bunch of scratching on here but it looks to me like it's all covered up so um, scraps or uh, let's see scraps or fabric I use some fabric just to make a little focal point of a little house here this is a tiny piece so it's kind of difficult and then I either had to do the last two props or draw two new prompts and I actually draw drew two more and I used it's either stabilo pencil or water soluble medium I used the stabilo pencil and then the other one was to either a paint pen or a glitter pen and I just used a glitter pen now I don't think you guys can see this I can't see it on the camera but this entire thing is full of glitter so that's that one what if these go together let's find out nope okay um, the last last but not least uh, this one I don't know which way it's gonna end up but one way or the other and this one said to I uh, use modeling paste which that pink is a modeling paste this is something I've had for years it's a Bray Reese uh, modeling paste and it's it, I bought it for two bucks and like I said I've had it for years so I used that uh, doodle at the top and the bottom so I did my triangles so when I doodled I used triangles so those two kind of went together outline with dots or something with lines I just did my little triangles with dots and then use buttons or bling and I use buttons and bling so there we go I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I really hope that somebody's playing along and this is going to be fabulous to put this puzzle together in the end. All right, guys, take care and we'll chat with you soon. Bye-bye.